Check this out. No way. Someone has done it. So, 347 for a razor? Okay, hold up. Let's, let's check out their Instagram. $350 razor? Okay. Built for men who value design, craftsmanship, and ultimate straight razor shaving experience. I do. What would that be like? Just in case you guys think straight razors are only for barbers, it's not true. In fact, as little as like 40 years ago, everybody had to shave with a straight razor. But I'll just show you real quick how I do my line on my beard. I'll pull out my skin and I'll come down with the razor. Now I'm gonna load this razor up. I'm gonna show you real quick. Just drop this new Feather Artist blade in here and I'm gonna go ahead and snap this shut. Boom, the magnet's got it locked in place. It's good to go. So I'm gonna pull my skin just like this and I'm gonna come down with it. Very easy little tiny strokes, make my line nice, and that's it, you know? That line's looking good, I'll do it on the other side. On the other side, I flip the blade this way, and I go ahead, same thing. Boom. Now I got my line on point, make sure that they're both even, kinda hard doing it in the camera. But you know, you will probably cut yourself with this at first, when you first get started, you might cut yourself, you might nick yourself, but it's not impossible to shave your own face, and it's definitely not impossible. If you wanna have a nice clean lineup, if you wanna shave under your neck, which I'll never do ever again, I'm growing my beard out like ZZ Top. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. And if this is your first time here, we got over 300 videos to help you learn all things barbering. But today is kind of a special day because I've had so many razor holders, and if I could just find one that could like do it all and last a lifetime, I really wouldn't mind spending some crazy amount of money on it. But the problem is like a lot of razors only hold one type of blades. You got some that hold double edge, some that hold the feather, some that hold the nape and body razor and uh, the personas and, and the list just goes on. But, but what if, what if there was one razor that could fit all the blades on the market and it cut like a conventional straight razor? Well, I got news for you guys. There definitely is such a thing. Let's do the breakdown on this because this thing is just freaking sweet. First of all, the second you get it, it's nothing but quality. It oozes quality. In fact, they boast that their craftsmanship is kept within 50 thousandths of an inch. So if you took an inch, split it into 1,000 parts, 50, that's how they maintain their quality. And the moment you hold it, it feels like a real straight razor. But one thing that I really can't do without, because I tried going back to some of the other razors, is the extended finger brace. This is just giving me so much more options. So like when you're doing freehand, you know, any razor is fine because your finger's probably close. But when you do backhand or reverse backhand, you're gonna have to bunch your finger up if this isn't long enough. And the fact that this is longer means that I could actually brace my finger a lot further back. Absolutely love that. Now you can use any of your double-edged blades that you want, sharks, dorcos, derbies, whatever. Snap it in half, you can set it up as high or as low as you want. And then you take the top piece and you go ahead and you slide that right in and boom, you got it loaded. Now, the thing that sets this apart, it's got two super powerful magnets. And that's the way this works. Like these two super powerful magnets, they make anything stick together and that's how they're able to pinch any type of blade. So if I take a feather artist blade, I could load it the exact same way, pop out the feather artist blade, set it in there however I want it, and it is the exact same length as the feather artist blade, and I could use those pro guards so that if I don't wanna cut nobody or if I need a little bit higher quality of a shave, I don't have to go to the feather artist holder and then use the double edge holder. Huge advantage, absolutely love this product, and I know that you will too, but there is a little complication with loading it at first. There was definitely a learning curve, check it out. See if you can figure out how to load this razor. I'll be honest, it was really tough the first time I tried it. 
to load it. I'll take this off. So he don't cut himself. He's gonna load it with a piece of cardboard. Okay. Actually, the first uh, when Connor looked at it, he thought it was because it's mach it's machined so perfect. I thought, yeah, that was a there's your blade right there. Yeah, he actually thought that that was just the blade. <laughs> there's your razor. You gonna be able to do this? Huh? What's the matter? Hold on, dog. Are you, are you I gotta figure out how to open this. Are you struggling? I know it's magnetic. Hold on. There it is. I thought you was gonna be able to open this so easy. There it is, dog. Come on. Oh, you're gonna break your finger. I'll break my oh, nail, dog. That's not how you do it. How oh. you do it, dog? That's not how you do it. I thought you was gonna figure hold this on, out. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. He almost got it. Hold on. I'm close. No, you're not. I got no nails, dog. You ain't close. I see that. Dude, I ain't breaking that thing apart. <laughs> Wait, Sonny failed. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to Chad. Let's see, can you open that uh, thing? Yeah. Chad is the master of disaster. He's always tooling around. I have every confidence that Chad figures this out. Oh, come on. Oh, you already got you already got way further than Sonny. Look what he did. He got the two pieces. The slider, yo. Yeah. Wants to try. Yeah, Courtney yeah. wants to try. <laughs> Alright, Chad succeeded. Oh, she's already doing better than Sonny. Already doing better than Sonny. What? Time to go, bitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now after I've had some time with the razor, I've worked with it for about a week and a half. I definitely can't do without it. And you know, some of the clients' reactions to the price and stuff were, were pretty funny. Check it out. If you had to guess, how much is this? How much is this worth? I have no clue. I'd say like, I don't know, 80 bucks. 80 bucks? Well look at this manufacturing, bro. These are nice magnets, everything. How much do you think that razor costs? This? Yeah. How much do I think it costs? Yeah, if you had to guess. Japanese Six, 60 bucks? Okay, so then maybe a buck 50. 375. What the f? I know, right? <laughs> Loaded. It came from Switzerland. You know, it's it's under, uh, yeah. That I know. It came from Switzerland. 100, 200 bucks? Close, bro. It's uh, like 375. Close. So after working with this for a while, the learning curve on loading it went away. I can load this effortlessly. It's become really easy to work with. And one of you lucky subscribers is gonna be learning how to load one as well, because guess what? We're gonna be giving one away to somebody. So the contest rules are down in the description box. All you have to do is drop a like and drop a comment on this video. And then you gotta go over to Titalis's Instagram page and the video that you guys seen earlier in this video, the little advertisement that I created for them, they're gonna post that video. And on that video, all you gotta do is tag a friend. As many friends as you tag per comment, that's the amount of entries that you can get, all right? So go ahead over to their Instagram, tag some friends, and let's spread the word about this awesome razor, the Essence Razor, and let them know that the army is strong, man. Drop some comments about the army. Let them know who sent you, and with that being said, man, good luck to everybody out there who tries to win this razor. But in the unfortunate event that you don't win, uh, you guys can head over to their website. I actually got a code for you guys to save 10%. Use the code Eddie10 and you guys could scoop yourself up one of these razors and you guys could experience this quality that I'm talking about. Now, I know not a lot of people out there have used these yet and not a lot of information is out there about this yet, but I'm telling you guys right now, this is probably going to be my number one razor probably for the rest of my life because it is just built, the handle is matte and it's made of metal and it's just, this, this is not gonna break. This is not going anywhere. In fact, when I first got this, I passed it around to some of the barbers and I was like, how do you think you load this? And one of them even said, I think that you gotta go sharpen that. I think that's a conventional straight razor. It is not a conventional straight razor. It loads, you guys can see how it works and you're gonna absolutely love working with this. So you can put a new fresh blade in for every single client and you're not gonna have a problem with sanitation. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the breakdown on this thing. Let's check out some clips of me using it. I'm gonna ride off into the sunset. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber and I'm so grateful that you guys hopped over here and checked out this video. 
But in the follow-up video to this one, we're gonna be breaking down the Gamma Power Ride Clipper, and I'm going to be explaining to you guys everything that I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, whether or not you should buy it, whether or not you should use it in this world of cordless clippers. So that's gonna be what's next on the chopping block. Hope you guys subscribe, hope you guys hit that like button, and I hope you guys drop a comment, man. Good luck to the winner, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I feel like I'm falling. Real lies, real sh real life, real rare, I'm on edge, I make noise, they got layers, no cap, all facts, eyes low, but I'm still woke, no patience, heart glacier, can't see me, I'm the young ghost, phone blaring, overbear, the blessing that I overcharge, got these rap niggas eyes open glaring, cause they over jealous, I'm so overzealous, whiskey side with the rosemary, and used to want it, not a host there, and I was back before I could afford to care, now we on course, I took the tour to Paris, I blew up the bag, they hit me as bad, they got from the racks, if they chastise, they can fast die, telling mad lies, going bad, tell them get they act right, I'm a Squad, no lights through the fog, but we made it. I'll yeah. be good by the morning. I feel like I'm falling. It feel like I'm falling. It feel like I'm falling. This client here, he's a machine. Let's see if he can load this razor. Come here, Steve. -O. You Why don't, am I holding a razor? You, you don't need this razor yet. I but don't. You're gonna this load this razor. No. Show me how you might load that razor. Can you get it? I did the same shit, dude. Yeah, look at I, I see. I see where it splits open. <laughs> oh. Does that pop open? Right there. I don't know. You try it like that, you'll lose your finger now. Came out rubbing money. I got it. Something uh -oh. just moved. <laughs> oh! He did it! Alright. You, yeah. right, you, you passed stage one. Alright. So it goes in there just like that. Oh shit, he getting it, y'all. He getting it. That's a free haircut. Don't fuck yourself up, Steve. It's uh, magnetic. That's why I was sticking. Oh, Steve just freaking loaded price. it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Steve, you're a genius, bro. I cannot believe you did that. I did not expect that a client. It took us 20 minutes to do that yesterday. Do you know how many clients tried and didn't even get that far? Hey, you said you're huh. a machinist. Do you like work on cars and stuff, too? I just want to say thank you guys so much at Titalist for sending me this razor. Man, I really appreciate it. It means a lot that you guys are showing love to my channel. And uh, just a quick disclaimer, you guys know this. I got sent all this for free. And I really do believe in the product. I think it's fantastic. And if you guys use my link, I will get a small kickback, which helps support the channel and helps me continue to make videos like this, man. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.